Greetings, citizens of the internet! You can call me Nitro Indigo, and welcome back to my extremely riveting Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last episode, we saved a pair of Magnemite from Thunder Wave Cave, and in this episode, we're going outside to check the mailbox. Indigo checked the mailbox, but there was no mail seeking help from the rescue team. Good morning, Indigo. Aren't you up early? Okay, that voice has gone by then. Oh, so you checked the mailbox. So, was there anything? Were there any rescue requests? Huh? Empty? Hmm, I suppose so. We've only just, we've only started it after all. Well, too bad. Wanna go to Pokemon Square? I think if we go to the Pell of a Post Office, there'll be jobs posted. You don't say. Pokemon Square's over this way. Let's go. This is Pokemon Square. That's the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. That's Felicity Bank. You can save your money there. Also, I always find it weird how it's called Felicity Bank because most of the shops here are named after the Pokemon except Felicity Bank for some reason. I think it's because um, Felix is Latin for Lucky and Felis is Latin for Cat so it's supposed to be a pun but I still found it a bit confusing when I was little. This is the Gulpin Link Shop. Gul Gulpin can link moves for you. Lots of speedrunners link their moves but I never do. Well, I rarely do anyway. Huh? What's linking? Well, if you link moves, you can use them at the same time. I think we should add Gulpin if you want to know more. Unfortunately, this is the early game, so the move sets absolutely suck, so we won't really be linking moves if I at all decide to until much later. We'll probably be around like level 30 when you finish the game. This is Kangaskhan Storage. If you store items here, they'll never go missing. Because, spoiler alert, if you faint in a dungeon, you'll lose some items. Also, when I was little, I didn't realise that Kangaskhan was supposed to be a kangaroo from its mystery dungeon sprite because that was where I saw it the most. I thought it was some kind of dinosaur and I thought that the pouch was its mouth. You should store important items here before you go out on any dungeon adventure. What do you think? The businesses here help us. Oh, and there's also the Pelican Post Office. That's up past here. I think we can go get some information on rescue jobs. Let's first go to the Pelican Post Office. But before we do that, I'm going to talk to a bunch of people. We don't have any money. Oh, we don't have money. I was looking at the points for some reason because as you... Well, we'll see how you get points in due course. Anyway, we could buy all these items. I think I'm going to get an Orin Berry and a Max Elixir. Max Elixir restores the PP of all of your moves. If your moves run out of PP, you can no longer use them. It stands for PowerPoint, etc. PowerPoint. It's not because of PowerPoint, the thing that makes you lets you make slideshows that I used to do my remix videos on. Oh yeah, my bag, my bag's full. Oop. I didn't know they actually told you off if you, your bag was full though. So that was a bit weird. Also, I pressed Y to sort again and I ended up opening it because I've changed the button configurations between episodes um, so that now Y is start. So I'm going to store all my cherry berries because I don't need them right. They're like not the least essential items here and my pecker berries too. Not pecker berries as they would pronounce it in the anime short, except it's not pecker, it's actually. The Petra, the Pekka scarves. So, and like in the anime special, Kangaskhan does not give you free stuff. I want a refund. Also, what is up with this random bit of rock here? Yeah, I don't actually really like how Pokemon Square looks because the colours are all really dull and all the buildings are really flat. Like it looks like you should be able to walk behind some objects, but you just can't. Also, I'm playing this on my virtual console. Here's a bunch of TMs we can't buy. Um, and an orb, which you can buy, but I don't really use the switch orb specifically. But I basically, like, I was considering you putting on screen smoothing, which looks like this. But I decided against it just for the sake of consistency. Um, but I've got, I'd like to know you people in the comments: should I keep turn sp green smoothing on or not? There was a there was a forest fire not long ago. It was terrible. I can't think of a good voice of Brawl Sprout. Luckily, Blastoise and Feraligatr were able to douse it quickly. I've never actually read this text before, but it could have been much worse if they were slower getting there. I don't know why, but there have been many natural disasters lately. 
A lot of Pokemon have gone wild and violent because of the disaster. Because the because the disaster because the disaster scared them. I can't pronounce things today. It's a mean world out there. That was a really terrible attempt at a Kermit voice. I'm sorry. And finally, Snubble. What do you have to say? Pardon? Oh, the Pelipper Post Office. I guess Snubble is posh. The Pelipper Post Office should be would be straight down this path. It's all out at the Cape. You can't miss it. And then there's also this shop. We can't do anything here yet. And also these weird shadows are supposed to be clouds. I, I don't really like how they look. I'm going to store all my money in case I lose it later. And that's just a habit I have. Anyway, let's go to the Pelipper Post Office. That building is the Pelipper Post Office. That was really badly enunciated. And it's shaped like a pelipper. This is where information is gathered from Pokemon needing rescue in various locations. See? Have a look at this bulletin board. It lists rescue jobs. Check it out. Why was that a question? That should have been an exclamation mark. And these are missions. These are how we get points. But more important, basically, between story things, you'll have to go to into dungeons and do um, missions to help Pokemon. And you'll get rewards from them. For example, from this mission here, we will get a Graveler Rock that I was talking about last episode. And for this one, we'll get 100 Poke plus an unknown item. And I decided to do these because we bought an Orange Berry, so we might as well deliver it. We might as well put it to good use. Oh, I skipped over text. To do a rescue job, you first select it with accept. Then on the job list, choose the job. That oh, it's just tutorial stuff. It's not really that important for me to read out. So anyway, let's just depart to Tiny Woods and we need to, I just need to remember, we need to rescue Pidgey and Poochyena. Yeah, because all the Pokemon that appear in missions are Pokemon you've already encountered in dungeons. And also, this game is quite, I've said it, I think I've said this before, but this game is a lot faster than I remember it being. And this is a really nice map, but we can't see it in full yet. There is a way we can see it in full later. And... Anyway, this is a sunken. Like a lot of these dungeons kind of look weird because they don't really look like the place they're supposed to be. Like this is supposed to be like a wood. What is the difference between a wood and a forest? I still don't know to this day. But like it has like these wood. It looks more like a meadow of some sort because the walls are just grass and flowers. Oh, and also you can talk to Pokemon in dungeons and they say a stock set of phrases depending on their species and I can't actually turn around to talk to Ch um, Peril, I'm just going to Charmander. The fire on my tail is blazing, let's go for it Indigo. Also partners have different, um, your partner Pokemon has different phrases to most Pokemon of their species. And most of them are a bit generic but I like Charmanders, I've never actually read that before I think. Because I, I might, I've actually restarted it, like Blue Rescue Team loads of times but... I, the problem is that with Pokemon Fusion games, I have a habit of just restarting them too much because I, I pressed the wrong button again. Because I just end up like seeing what start I want to get, which is why I can never like finish Explorers of Sky all the way through and I don't even own it anymore. But I don't have that problem with Explorers of Time. Anyway, our mission, which one's on this floor again? Rescue Pidgey and then deliver the Orange Berry to Poochyena. Okay then, we need to find a Pidgey. The problem is Pidgey is an enemy in this dungeon, but luckily here it is. And you can tell that it's a Pokemon you need to rescue because it has a yellow circle underneath it. And then when you rescue, they just have generic dialogue. I do not want to leave now. And in order to progress to the next story event, we need to do two missions. You could do one mission a day, but because it actually took me quite a while to realise you could do multiple missions in one dungeon, one per day. But, and after this next story, things will happen. But that will be in the next episode, spoilers. And here's an orange berry anyway, so I didn't even need to buy that one. But we, it could still be useful for, you know, restoring health, the intended purpose. And here's another one. Might as well call this place Oran Forest. Wait a minute. And there's an egg. An eggy egged egg. 
Now it's Puccino, it's actually quite hard to find. I think it's gonna be at the right. Yay, I leveled up! Also, like, in Gates to Infinity, the way- Oh, there's Puccino, I didn't see it because it blended in with the background, but like, in Gates to Infinity, the, the text scroll for when the Pokemon game starts and levels up is like really slow. It goes one at a time and text speed is really slow. I mean, one affinity. One affinity did a video which basically said it's not that bad if you read it out loud, basically. But still, yeah, I don't really like the 3DS Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Gates of Infinity, I have problems with. Like, I, it feels like something's missing from that game. And I don't know what it is, but like, I won't say my item is Norman Berries because I'm actually holding it. Thank you for releasing me. Here is your reward. The prop. Why does everyone have an American accent? Anyway, it gets to infinity, I just it just feels like something missing in that game and I don't know what it is and I do have a bunch of gripes in it, it in it with it. And then Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon has these really annoying mechanics that were kind of pointless to be honest and I really don't like the story of that game. But I've already talked about them on my channel before but that was a long time ago. Oh, Max Elixir, that's nice. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Would you like to save your adventure? No. Again? Am I dreaming again? It's that Pokemon again. Huh? They're talking to me? I can't hear them clearly. What are they saying? Huh? It's shaking. An earthquake? Whoa, it's getting worse. For a dream, this feels strangely real, but why did I give her the American accent for a moment? The next morning. Uh, hello? What was that voice supposed to be? Hello? Uh, you are Indigo, aren't you? I guess this mystery character has a really gruff voice. Oh, you can't see us, of course. How very rude of us. We're pleased to meet you. We are Dogtrio. Last night, during the earthquake, our child Diglett was stacked. He was whisked away to the peak of a tall mountain. We couldn't possibly climb somewhere so high up. That is why we must call upon you for your help, Indigo. Diglett was abducted by a Pokemon named Skarmory! It's a vilely vicious ruffian! Please do be careful! Please, we need your help! We must go! That was so sudden, there was no time to even say no. It's too bad. I'll, I'd better go. Next time in my extremely riveting Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team, we shall be rescuing Diglett. Until then, stay interesting! Thank you.